everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn with me, Alpha Biomega, and Singapore, or, you know, halfway from Mopfalindo at this point. Now, in the last episode we have annexed the Philippines, which caused us uh, quite a lot of political and, uh, you know, money strife. <laughs> I don't know how to, best way to put it, because our unemployment jumped from negative X percent to 41 percent, meaning that the Philippines had a real unemployment rate of roughly 50 plus percent. I went ahead and checked what the unemployment of the Philippines is right now. It's actually very low, around 3 percent in 2024, but at this time it was somewhere around uh, 14 to 16 percent. However, at 2015 it gradually dropped, so it wasn't really all that high at this time either, but you know, in the 2000s it was that high, but nowhere near this disastrous amount, which means that we need to change our ideology a bit. Before we focused on a reduction of needed workers into our economy. But right now I think we're gonna focus more on construction and excavation, things that were absolutely useless for us before, but now are sort of lacking. So one of our slots is gonna go with construction four, a higher degree of mechanization and better routines further improve building construction speed. And the second one is gonna go with excavation one, which gives us resource gain efficiency plus 7.5%. Advancement in drawing techniques allows us to excavate resources that were impossible to reach earlier. So let's do that. We're also um, struggling heavily with fuel and some other resources. So I'm gonna let the game run a bit because I'm starting a new session here. And once we get some reasonable numbers from it, uh, we will look at changing our imports. So, the current consumption of population, where is it, they state the consumption is 5k, but where's the population consumption? Uh, I was pretty sure it shows it here, army, air, navy, okay, it doesn't, they would be basically Okay, either way we need to have a way uh, increase our imports, so let's double them and see what that does to our uh, stats. Okay, that's still nowhere near enough, so let's double it. Or actually, let's double it again, um, based on the original number. So 45.6, okay, now we're talking, we're getting closer. And let's strike a deal with the United States for 16 more, and that means we are on a positive trajectory. Okay, can I lower that by one factory? Yes, it looks like we are still net positive. Okay, so we need to import 80 fuel because we are export we're exporting 110% of the resources we gain. Now that's Part of the thing that I was speaking about when it comes to change in ideology, we're a globalized trade economy, meaning we have lowered tax cost factor heavily, but we export everything. And I have a feeling we might want to go with something like mixed economy, which would leave us some 20% of extracted resources, but I'm not sure if that would help. Okay, we can lower autonomy of a subject, so let's look at that. Indonesia can be lowered to into a puppet. How long do we annex them? It's not even wasted resources. 130 days. Okay, that's not that's not wasted resources. We'll get their factories for that amount of time. And we need to keep lowering uh, the independence of Malaysia because we want to annex them. Okay, we, our debt is still increasing like crazy, but yep, we gained a number of new factories that we can put on the production. I'm gonna actually increase the amount of offices that we have here in construction and 
We have, my god, we have eight more factories. Okay, we'll have 27 army experience. We need 51 to put the ATGM to max. I don't know if that's actually a good idea. We might want to use the experience that we have right now to upgrade the Terex. Uh, which is going to be fairly expensive. If we kept the original engine, uh, that would lower the cost. What's so expensive? Nothing really. Uh, 85 CECF then. And we'll put them up for upgrades. Uh, with all the factories that we have available. Uh, have them upgrade and once we're done with that we'll design the fourth generation APC which is gonna take care of that. Uh, money wise we are bleeding like crazy. Okay let's lower the imports from Australia, increase the imports from the United States just to make sure that we are okay. Uh, steel and everything should be hitting us hard only when it comes to the navy right. We're missing a a little bit of technology metals for the helicopters, but nothing major. Um, well, how much is that hurting the efficiency? 5%, that's absolutely acceptable. Upgrading you, upgrading you. Yeah, we we'll need to put more factories in here when we get the chance. Because we need to upgrade 50,000 infantry weapons. That's just crazy. And we'll need to... Okay, Palau and Malaysia are being auto-influenced. The influence on Palau is just abysmal though. Yeah, we're at 21% now. Uh, Foreign aid package to Palau is possible, so let's get that done. I'd like to pop it them at least before the end of the Let's Play. But uh, you can be rest assured we're not going to end the let's play until we get our economy under control. This is going to be crazy. So we have our work cut out for us for at least a couple more episodes to deal with uh, the unemployment. And if Indonesia is anywhere near uh, what the Philippines were in, we will be just crazy. The good news is that the debt to GDP is increasing only fairly slow and if we'll have yeah I think we can actually keep increasing the taxation slowly the population to pay for the unemployment welfare I won't increase the corporate income at this point well though I mean the tax cost is 12% we could increase it to at least 15. So 25 and 15 would be the aim for now. But we really need to lower the unemployment. That's what's killing us. If we can lower that to 22 million <laughs> to something reasonable, then we'll be fine. And Malaysia, I really do hope that you are not going to hit us with even further unemployment. But yeah, with the population of 100 million right now I feel we are doing really good what's the situation in Atsik? zero resistance 70% compliance I'm not planning to release them it doesn't bode well for us but uh, 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 where's the Okay, so we're building the civilian industries in Palau. We're sending my foreign aid package. Uh, we don't have enough influence in Malaysia. Okay, so there is an issue with Malaysia. We have 4%. I could. Okay. 
I can do it now because we auto influence them, so that's good. So Malaysia, lower their independence. They can say goodbye to being an independent nation. We're getting them one way or another. How's the fact that he's doing? 507 of the Bionics free assists are needed. Uh, we got you guys over here. Terexus AV85 CFs. So that's pretty good. Sorry for the sudden skip. I actually had a phone call, so I needed to take it. But I believe that we were talking about how screwed up our economy is and that we need to build some offices and that we need to get some uh, new <laughs> some new um, APC because uh, the uh, Terex that we have right now, where are they here? Uh, the AV85 CF, uh, while we're modernizing them, uh, we will need more. I kind of like the fact that we're, you know, getting the AI army as well, because while these units are actually, ah, uh, wow, they, their equipment is just awful, uh, but they are a manpower. And if we eventually found a way to switch them to something more, well, you know, more combined arms divisions, like, uh, it would be kind of cool, but just look at, we would need 3,600 APCs, we get 452, we would need 900 IFVs, we get 497, 1,470 main battle tanks, we get 403, it's just, it's just not enough. Suspected militants of Jema Islamia. 15 suspected militants of the terror group Jemaya Islamia have been apprehended today. They had in their position weapons, cash, and much more appearing to be preparing for some form of attack against the Singaporean government. How should we proceed? Life in prison. It increases the popularity of Salafists and... So no, execute them. <laughs> like, what's the question? Okay. Uh, well, we finished the research of... Uh, what was it? Oh, it was the modern diesel engine. Okay, I forgot that we were researching that. Uh, okay, what's... Uh, what kind of explosive reaction armor are we using? Because I remember the game was a bit... Okay, second generation. And we got a better engine here. Okay, so we need to get a better reaction armor. So this is the first generation, this is the second generation that we're using. Here's the third, and here's the fourth. And we can get the third, which is going to give us a significant bonus. But it, it means researching well, for about 250 days, that's not that bad. Okay, so explosive reactive armor. Uh, okay, I thought it was a reaction. Explosive reactive armor composes of bricks made of explosives and a metal frame installed on the tank. As the brick is hit by a kinetic penetrator or a shaped charge, the brick explodes, countering the incoming projectile. The first experiments were done in the 60s to counter early shaped charges, but none made it to production. Yeah, in first stage engineering, we're even reducing uh, the time it requires to be made. So the autonomy of Malaysia is being reduced. And they're already down to 750. Papua and Indonesia are happening as well. Let me see one thing. And that's... Okay, so in 11 days we're losing the laboratory, but we're gonna get another one. So India was reunited, no surprise there. 69 days till we get the Indonesian territory. And by God, I'm afraid what it's gonna be like at this point. So I'm going from the stockpile. From grades. Why are you upgrading 
it still does not change what's going on. 269. Uh, something is wrong. I'm not sure what's going on there. 666. <laughs> okay, power has been auto defense, but we got 35 arm experience now, so I believe we might be able to get the new APC down. So let's just check what the original one was like. Uh, so main armament, modern auto cannon, we got a basic AFV, uh, turret, smoke launchers, ATGM, mount, and mine protection. Okay, so we know what we want to know. Now let's upgrade it. Suspension wield. Get a modern heavy machine gun, but you can get the modern auto cannon, which is way better. Yeah, the basic AFV turret. Let's keep it there for now. We have the improved smoke launchers. We have the ATGM launchers. We can give you the Mine protection. I don't know if we're gonna need that actually on this one. And an improved spaced armor. And we're gonna put the second generation explosive on advanced battle stations in a turbocharged engine. And we don't need the better armor. We can have aluminum or steel armor. Okay, so the steel armor seems to be better. And yeah, we get way too much reliability. We don't need that much, so we can put in something else. Uh, do we have the smoke launchers? We do, we can have more? Okay, well, that's one way to go, but I think we could put in yeah, we can put in the machine gun. Wait, why is it? Oh, yeah, and it's really seeing the break through. But let's get the machine gun. And this is gonna be. Terex 2AV15. And I can actually even further increase its armor. Not bad. So we'll start producing you. And we have nowhere near the resources we need for that. And we're producing only one per day. So it tells me that there is definitely a huge amount of missing resources. Yeah, we need 25 more steel and 18 technology medals. Who's got technology models. So we're gonna double the imports from Chile and more imports from the United States and we can effectively double the imports from the United States when it comes to steel. And we also need more white medals. I mean I would be mad but considering what amount of factories we have now uh, keeping the industry alive is actually Absolutely. Okay. Oh, you know why we weren't getting upgrades? Because we're recruiting uh, units. So it was upgrading the ones that we have over here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, okay. So we get two of you. And we want it... Oh, we have one... Of you defending Brunei, and we can put two of you into Banda Atsek, and we'll make you Colonel Ethelwyn is gonna be leading this one. Where is he? Ethelwyn. Uh, 
because not as soon as we promote him, you are now in charge of this army. And we're gonna call it Anse Defense Force. And of course you're gonna drill there. And we still have you guys, which is most of the island defense force. So it would make sense to assign the marines to the Philippines. Uh, wait, is it Philippines like this? I never remember the double P double L. No, double P, just the double P. Okay. So this is Philippines DF. And this is going to be second Philippines DF. Okay. And you also need to draw, guys. And you also need a general. Uh, so the scout regiment is being led by Colonel Raymond Lim. So Lim. Colonel Raymond Lim. You're going to be promoted and in charge of this army from now on. Uh, well, our army is looking better. Actually, you guys are going to be assigned under the Singapore Defense Force. But the Philippine Defense Force, I guess that General Hayden can be promoted. And... Most experienced commander is Colonel Xian Ang. So I'm gonna promote him. So we're gonna take this one over and we'll create a new army group, which is gonna be led by Hayden Chua. Okay, and this is gonna be um, the Philippines Defense Force. Okay. Reduction of banned books. In a twist of events, Singapore has decided it was time to reduce the publications that are banned from 257 books down to 17. <laughs> the change allows some communist and adult topics, but keeps a ban on Jehovah Witness publications. Some of the books include Fanny Hill and the Long March. Unban them all. The Parliament is correct. I guess the parliament is correct, we can use accessibility. And what did we finish here? I forgot it was. I forgot what it was, to be quite honest. I think we'll need to start taking the utility vehicles more seriously, though, for ourselves. Speaking of which, it's time to research the new infantry weapon. Okay, so that's gonna be our next great task. Jesus Christ. And we're still hemorrhaging money. When will you guys be finished? In July, right? Something like that. I think so. Okay, producing 3.55 per day. I think I'm going to reduce it to 6 factories. And we are going to start producing the old Terexes. Uh, wasn't it CF? CE. Yeah, there was one more. Yeah, here it is. Okay, and this one is purely to upgrade from stockpile. You're not gonna be using any equipment at all. You just upgrade all of them, and once we're done with that, you are done. Which should save us in the end. Yep. 
quite a lot of civilian factories because we can reuse some of the older equipment. But we need to put one of those into importing more precious metals. Okay then, things are looking good on this front. And on that note, we are getting the System A bus, which is a nuclear reactor, and I'm going to end it here and see you in the next episode. So the depth is the only thing that's actually really bothering us at this point, it seems. Well played, game. <laughs>